Hello, welcome to my channel, Les Gourmets de Blanche. My name is Blanche. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to discuss and make one of the easiest recipes I know, French toast. In France, French toast is called pain perdu, which translates to lost bread in English. Why? Simply because stale or old bread is used to make French toast. The cooking process is different as well. In France, you can use any type of stale bread, baguette, flute, brioche, you name it. You start by slicing your bread relatively thick, then mix milk, sugar, and vanilla in a bowl, beat the eggs in a separate bowl, then soak the bread in the sweetened milk, and then dip it in the egg and fry in butter over medium high heat. It is usually served just like that, sprinkled with a little bit of powdered sugar, served with honey or confiture, which is jam on the side. In America, classic French toast start with a dipping mixture of milk, eggs, and cinnamon, and then they use French toast bread generally known as the Texas toast. My recipe is somehow between the two as I combine both processes to come up with my version of French toast slash pain perdu. So before we start making our French toast, just know that how you season the mixture is what gives your French toast a distinctive flavor. So be creative with your mixture. So here is an overview of all the ingredients we are going to use in our French toast. I'll have clips of the product on the screen for you. I will also explain in detail how I'm going to use each of these ingredients. So now let's get started. For the bread, I'm using three types of bread. My brioche which is uh, stale. The American French uh, toast bread, you can see how soft it is, and my uh, stale or old French baguette. I already cut uh, the bread in the size that I want, so it's ready to go. Now let's move on to the next ingredients. I have four eggs one glass of milk, sugar, some salt for taste, and I'm going to add nutmeg. To achieve a good French toast, it's all about the ratio of egg to milk. Basically, the right ratio is one egg for a quarter cup of milk. Now I'm going to start my dipping mixture. First, I'll beat my eggs very well before adding any other ingredient. Note that I'm using half and half in my recipe just because it gives a richer uh, texture and flavor to the French toast. Now I'm adding my half and half. Note that my glass is a 10 ounces glass, so I'm using just eight, eight ounces, which is a cup. Uh, and mix well. Make sure that everything is well blended. Next goes a pinch of salt. Don't overdo it, just a pinch. Followed by the sugar. I'm using one third of a cup. You can go less, but don't bypass it because this is what gives the French toast a very nice caramelized color. And then I'm gonna add my sucre vanille. I usually get this um, in France. When I run out, I just ask one of my sisters to mail me more. So um, if you can find them here or you know where to find them, let me know because I'm having a hard time finding sucre vanille here. Then the final touch will be your uh, nutmeg. Just grate a little bit of nutmeg in your mixture and 
you are done with the mixture. So this is how your mixture should look like. And before we start cooking our pan perdu, let's go over our toppings. So here I have my fresh berries for the toppings. I have blackberries, raspberry and two types of strawberries. The regular strawberries and the rosé strawberries. I got them as sprouts and they, are, they have a specific taste. It's kind of peachy, at the same time tart and sweet. It's really good, so go try them and let me know. You won't be disappointed. And yeah, I also made a couple of uh, strawberry roses to decorate my gourmet plate. Uh, let me know if you want to try it. It's all over the internet, easy to make. So next I have my whipped cream, powder, sugar, uh, some mint to decorate my plate, uh, marmalade, it's orange marmalade, and um, maple syrup. So this is what we're gonna use as topping. To cook my pain perdu, I'm using a combination of butter and oil in a non-stick pan to uh, prevent my toast from burning. So now relax, enjoy, and let's start cooking. So that's the type of olive oil I'm using. I forgot to show you, it's just plain cold pressed olive oil. So I already preheated my pan and now I'm going to start with the American French toast. Because it's so soft, I don't need to really soak it in the mixture for that long before frying it. As always, be sensitive to um, the smell and the sound of what you're cooking and adjust the heat as you go. You don't want to burn your food. <laughs> so now we are moving on with the brioche. You can see how uh, hard it is. I just left, let it on out on the corner overnight and just cover it with a uh, paper towel so it's stale and kind of dry. I'm gonna soak it a little bit longer than the American French toast. So uh, make sure that your bread soaks the liquid very well and then uh, move on to uh, frying it the same way I did with the American French toast. Look at this golden beautiful color. What helps achieving that is the sugar in the dipping mixture and the combination of oil and butter to fry it, to cook the French toast. That's what we get. <laughs> so the last one is our French baguette. It's stale. The baguette is very stale and old. Uh, so I will soak it a little bit longer <laughs> than the brioche to make sure that I rehydrate it well with the mixture. So, and then we'll cook it the same way as I cooked the other two before. Okay, enjoy the process. So here is everything we cooked today, French toast, 
made with three types of bread, French baguette, brioche, and Texas toast. And here is our French toast along with all the toppings that we are going to use to make our gourmet plates. Yes, we cook gourmet food. So let's make our gourmet plates. We will have three gourmet plates today, one for each type of bread. So here comes the first one. I am going to call this one the glorious American French toast. Look at this beauty. This is the one I made with the Texas toast. This is just gorgeous. The next one is the one that I made with the brioche. And I'm going to call that pain perdu à la parisienne. Look at this cutie. And it was so good too. And the last one, but not the least, is simply called French toast slash pain perdu my recipe. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel and set up the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Si vous avez aimé cette vidéo, likez, laissez-moi un commentaire, abonnez-vous et cliquez sur la cloche de notification pour ne pas rater mes prochaines vidéos. Merci, à la prochaine, au revoir.